In this video, we cover all of the initial setup steps to get started with the Ezeviz H4 Wi-Fi Smart 2K home camera. Watch as we unbox the camera, install a memory card, configure recording settings, install the Ezeviz mobile app, create a user account, configure Wi-Fi, and add the camera to the app. Let's start with introducing and unboxing the camera. The Ezeviz H4 Wi-Fi Dome camera offers impressive value for a wide range of security needs. Featuring a robust 2K resolution and a durable design, it's perfect for covering larger or busier areas. With advanced features like enhanced audio pickup, IP67 weatherproofing, and AI-powered human-slash-vehicle shape detection, it ensures comprehensive security. Easily manage everything on the Ezviz mobile app. Additional features include two-way talk, H.265 video technology, active defense with siren and strobe light, customizable voice alerts, smart integration with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa, color night vision, customizable detection zones, and support for microSD cards up to 512GB in Esvis Cloud Play Storage. In the box, the package includes the H4 2K camera, a power adapter, a drill template, a screw kit, regulatory information, and a quick start guide. Memory card installation. Before you install or remove the memory card from the camera, ensure that the camera is powered off to safeguard both the card and the camera itself. Use a small star head screwdriver to open the memory card waterproof case, which is located on the bottom of the camera. Insert the memory card as shown in the video. The camera supports microSD card storage up to 512GB. To insert or eject the memory card, gently push on the card. The maximum 512GB SD card will record footage for up to 3 weeks, depending on various factors such as video quality and whether continuous or event-based recording is used. After installing the memory card, turn on the camera. Power up the camera, use the given DC power adapter to turn on the camera. When powering up the camera, you will hear a voice announcement instructing you to connect to the network. The LED light will also flash to indicate this. Device Download and install the Esvis app from the Play Store. The installation will take a few minutes to complete. Once it's installed, open the app. Choose your region based on your country. If you already have an Esvis account, you can log in using your credentials, either via phone number or email. 
If you're new to the ESVIS app, you'll need to register an account with them using Create New Account. There are two types of registration methods available, email or mobile number. Choose any one of them based on your convenience. For example, we have chosen email registration. Enter your email address and create your own password to register an account with ESVIS. Enter the CAPTCHA code shown to verify that you are not a robot. Verify your email address by receiving the verification code and setting a password for logging into the ESVIS app. You can optionally link your phone number with your ESVIS account to log in using your phone number. You can also enable face or biometric authentication to log into the app later. When enabling this feature, you may need to verify your existing face or fingerprint authentication, which you use to unlock the phone. The app is now ready to add the camera device. Note, when configuring the Wi-Fi, keep the camera near the internet modem or router to set up the Wi-Fi and mobile app. Afterward, you can place the camera in its desired location. You can add the camera by clicking on Add Device or the plus symbol to head to Add Device. Before adding, make sure the camera is in network connection mode. If not, reboot the camera or reset it using the reset button. Reset successfully. Select the device as a camera. Allow the app to access your photos. The camera scanner will open for scanning the QR code from the camera. Check the device power on option to proceed with configuring the Wi-Fi. Check the option indicator flashes blue to confirm that the camera's blue LED is flashing. Allow the app to access your location. Select your Wi-Fi network, which should be 2.4 GHz, and enter the Wi-Fi password. Connect to the temporary Wi-Fi network transmitted from the camera which will start with ESVIS in its Wi-Fi name. You can hear the voice prompt confirming the configuration once the camera is connected to the Wi-Fi router. Enter or select your desired device name and place device. Configuration complete. Welcome to Easy 
Once the Wi-Fi is connected and added to the app, you will hear a successful voice prompt from the camera. Ensure the securely backed up and stored device QR code. When you need to configure or modify the network settings of this camera in the future, retrieve the saved QR code data and use it as needed. You can also configure or adjust the date and time, as well as the date format, in this section. Additionally, you can enable the option to store recorded footage on the cloud during the free trial period of cloud storage. Create or change your encryption password instead of using the code available on the camera label. This password will be useful when sharing the camera with others or connecting to other streaming or recording devices. For example, you can create your own password here, we've chosen password 123. Skip the introduction on the screen. Now you can view the live streaming from the camera. Additionally, a screen may appear prompting you to initialize the memory card for the first time. If not, you can check the status or initialize the memory card under the camera settings to start recording footage. Go to camera settings, then to the record list, and select storage medium to get the status of the memory card. If the card is uninitialized, select the storage medium and click the initialize button to format the card and prepare it for recording. Upon successful initialization, the card status will change to in use, and the storage capacity will be displayed. The recorded footage playback can be accessed by switching to the SD card storage view. By default, the camera will record motion detection or event recording. This recording mode can be set according to your needs. You can find this option in the same record list settings, where you can choose between 24-7 continuous recording or event-based recording. After configuring the Wi-Fi and adding the camera to the app, you can install it in its intended location. The camera is now fully operational, offering live streaming, playback, features accessible from anywhere via mobile data or Wi-Fi internet connections worldwide. For further clarification or additional information, in another segment of this video series, we offer detailed explanations about storage settings, event alert and two-way audio and other configuration. 
If you found this video useful, please consider supporting us. Your support helps us create more informative content like this and enables us to continue providing valuable resources to our audience. Whether it's through liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel, every bit of support is greatly appreciated.